beautiful Aquarians, welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with your monthly reading for July 2022. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about pertains to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings. I do not take your money, e-gifts, donations. I'm not on Facebook, WhatsApp, PayPal, Telegram, or Patreon. I will never ask you for your credit card details, and I will never ask you for personal details either. So if anyone masquerading as me asks you for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. Okay, my beautiful Aquarians, this is your monthly reading for July. Um, do apologize that it's a little bit late, but I did have some family responsibilities first, I'm afraid. Uh, but this reading is good for the next four to five weeks, of course. So let's get all your cards first, and then I'll transmute an outcome. Uh, just to let you know, the new moon was in Cancer on the 29th of June, and you will be feeling that energy for the next two and a half weeks. That's all about tuning into feelings, intuitions, and you may feel a little bit more sensitive than usual, a little bit more teary than usual as well, and a little bit more uh, deeper in your emotions. Um, you may be looking at healing things from your past, uh, but also it's about healing ancestral wounds and acknowledging your ancestors and the path that they paved before you, being grateful that they have made space um, for you to walk after them okay you may feel um their sense you may sense them around you during this time as well and they will leave little gifts or signs omens that they are with you so look out for that if anything comes up in the scrying in the water i'll let you know uh, of what to look out for um your first card there is the full card we've also got the hierophant thank you so much spirit guys great angels um I'm feeling a little bit hermit energy as well. I feel like a little bit of withdrawal energy. Uh, but just to let you know, we also have two alignments. Now, one of them, the first set is a loving, joyful connection between Jupiter and Venus. So Venus, of course, is the planet of love, devotion, care. And we have Jupiter, the planet of good luck, expansion, and opportunity. So those two in tandem will bring a lot of loving energy at the beginning of the month right up until the super full moon in Capricorn. Now, then we have Mars and Pluto, the eruptive and angry energy. So uh, you may feel a bit of a push and pull in your emotions this month in particular. Wow, that is a lot of cards. Um, as I said, it's gonna be quite eruptive and explosive at the end of the month, and this is your outcome energy, okay? So just so you're aware, we've got the death card there, the empress, um, we've got the empress and we've got the emperor, nice. Um, there's an alignment there, uh, a lot of creativity, a lot of power. Now, also with that super full moon in Capricorn, 13th, 14th of July, depending where, on where you are in the world, um, it's going to be a bumpy ride collectively, just to let you know, because uh, it's placed so close to that eruptive planet Pluto. So you may feel a little bit more frustrated, a little bit more angry or snappy. No matter how zen you've become in your life, you will feel your your buttons being pushed, okay? Uh, you don't have to react to that, of course, but you may feel a little bit of a tug. Let's put it that way, okay? Um, thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Aquarians? Now, of course, your sixth house is activated, and that's all about daily routines, work schedules, getting organized, and doing odd jobs around the house, getting into, like, planning stages, responsibility, duties, also implementing healthcare routines. I gotta go get that card. Your month in particular is gonna be pretty explosive. All your cards are like flying all over the place. I'm just gonna go get that one more moment, please. Wow, what a powerful card to fly out there as well. We've got the Ace of Wands. So a lot of passion, a lot of creativity, a lot of ideas. Movement forward suddenly. Uh, perhaps there's a new start here that you're hoping for. Uh, we've got the Nine of Swords. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. They want that one for sure. Uh, we got the Two of Swords there. You're leaving indecision behind. 
Can you please guide my beautiful Aquarians? What do they need to know? Uh, so that sixth house is all about wellness, making sure you extend your energy to situations that you feel are worth it. Friendships, career opportunities, uh, your day to day. It's about really making sure that you sort of have time for yourself. Um, you know, work smarter, not harder. Build a work schedule that allows you to have time for yourself. Uh, thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide? Now, of course, with that um, eruptive energy, it is actually a positive energy uh, at the end of the month, which actually will see you want to detox or implement healthcare routines, healthy boundaries, you know, getting clear on what, you, what diet works for you, exercise routines, that sort of thing. Um, and then at the end of the month, your 12th house is activated as well. And that's the unseen realm, your emotions. Uh, a little bit of withdrawal energy. You may get psychic flashes as well. Uh, you'll be processing, wow, process, processing a lot of emotions. This is clearly a, a very explosive month for you. Uh, I mean, I've never seen a deck going so like crazy before in all of the cards. Thank you so much. Uh, nine of Cups. I mean, it's a bumpy road, but you're getting the Nine of Cups. So that is a positive. Oh, they want me to go one more. I would have stopped at the Nine of Cups, to be honest. We got Judgment. So that's about being on a soul path. Now that 12th house of yours is going to, um, like, make you feel very, very philosophical. Face fears head on and really get clear on what it is that you want. But let's start at the very beginning. This is your protagonist energy. You're curious. You're starting the month quite curious, my beautiful Ju uh, Aquarians. July is going to be an energy of the journey. It's going to be about you reaching your full potential and recognizing that you're very, very talented at what you do. Um, and there is an independence as well about you in the month. Of, I mean, you're independent normally, but this is a card of having faith that anything is possible. Uh, this card, the full card is about taking a leap of faith, making your mark, taking a first step on a journey. So you could be uh, implementing something new in your world, whether it's a new job, career, new friendship, uh, definitely an adventure. I feel like there's an adventure here. Now this could be a new project. It could be something, it's the start of something. You've got the chariot card as your starting position as well. So you're definitely on the move. There may be some travel going on for you in the month of July. I mean, June, July, August tends to be time where people take a vacation, go off and explore uh, outside the norm. So, uh, you know, that could collectively be an energy that everybody's feeling, but you in particular, you're on the move, you're moving forward, you're overcoming something and accomplishing great goals or, you know, headed in the right direction for success. But you may have felt a little bit like, I'm gonna say absent-minded recently. I'm just getting this energy of absent-minded. You may have felt your energy was a little bit unfocused, but July is going to be really focused, okay? Uh, also, you're gonna feel a little bit more playful than usual. Now, I feel like you're approaching the month in the right way. Uh, we do have a Hierophant energy here because the Hierophant in this position is all about being original, uh, looking at rules and regulations and thinking, you know what, that doesn't really uh, apply to me. Uh, not that you're breaking rules or doing anything illegal, but you're looking at your uh, authentic self and expressing yourself in original ways. You're getting new ideas. You're learning new things. It's almost like you're learning the rules to break the rules, okay? in a really creative way. Uh, the Hierophant also is a card of knowledge. So I feel like there may have been a lesson that kept returning to you. Uh, this lesson could be about confidence. So I feel like this is coming back towards you to, because I feel like this energy of vitality is headed your way in the month of July, where you just feel like you could take on the world, okay, and win. And I actually see you doing that. Uh, there's a lot of lovely surprises happening for you in the month of July that bring a little bit more financial reward. I feel like you're putting yourself in a very um, interesting position, but there's a bit of worry, okay? You've got nine of swords here, four, five of swords as well. You've also got a five of wands. So I'm sending you a huge hug out there. If you're doing something radical, maverick, something really different that you haven't done before, of course, it's going to come with a little bit of anxiety, but I feel like you're feeling the fear and do it in any way, okay? Now, the Hierophant also is a card of your commitment to something. I feel like this is about you starting something new and being really committed to see it through to the very end. So if you've got any projects that you've started, you're actually finishing them. 
I, I feel with the Hierophant as well, this is about you having faith. And there may have been a period, a couple of months actually, where you're starting to lose faith. And just when you start to lose faith, I feel like an opportunity comes in that you, you get quite curious about. Or there is a direction that becomes apparent to you that you want to take that makes you feel a little bit more confident and a little bit more clear on where you're going, okay? Um, now... For some of you, you may have gone through a, a divorce or a separation recently, and I feel like you're a little bit curious to get out there and experience new opportunities, new people, new situations. And, uh, you know, I feel like it's quite an exciting time for you um, after, of course, a period of uh, mourning, perhaps, uh, the, the relationship. But that's not going to be everyone. I've got about 20% energy coming through in the water for that. Um, now, the outcome energy, we actually have... The world card. So this is a new cycle. This is about you accomplishing a goal. This is about you being content in whatever it is that you're trying to achieve and being satisfied that you're implementing all your energy, your devotion, your hard work and care towards um, smashing that goal right out of the park. Okay, uh, that is fulfillment right there. But you're entering a new cycle. Even in uncertain times, I feel like, you know, uh, you are managing to accomplish whatever it is you're focused on. So whether it is a partnership in business, whether it's a partnership in love, or whether it's about you um, reconnecting to your passion, your creativity, uh, your talent, because you're very talented at what you do. But I feel like this is about your focus in the month of July, where your focus goes. And the full card is like willing to just dive in and just take that leap of faith. The moon card does indicate that you are going to be in your feelings a lot more. Uh, trust your intuition. You're going to be very, very sensitive, especially since that 12th house of the unseen realm, your emotions, that sensitive part of your chart may make you feel a little bit more like withdrawing. That's why I feel that hermit energy coming through. Um, also, there could be secrets coming to light in the month of July, where someone tells you how they feel about you, okay? Uh, we will clarify that energy right at the end, but the moon card is all about hidden opportunities coming to light. Suddenly, something you've been manifesting just shows up in your realm, okay? So very, very positive. Now, the Empress card is you connecting to your divine talent, to your... Um, your creativity. Some of you, you know, if you're pregnant, you may be having your child this month as well. The Empress is a nurturing energy. So I also feel like you're implementing those self-care routines and, you know, building a life of comfort. Uh, also, I feel like male or female, not a gender specific reading, you're starting to acknowledge how beautiful you are both inside and out. You're having a real glow up as they call it. Um, also, I feel there's a lot of productivity going on. So you're going to be, you know, uh, looking at your routines, uh, getting out your planner, uh, you know, really scheduling uh, things in a more efficient way. So you've got more time for you. So whether you work for yourself, you're an entrepreneur or you're in a partnership or you just, you know, work in an office nine to five, whatever you work at. I feel like you're trying to build a schedule where you can fit more in for you and life is more rewarding or feels like you're having a little bit more fun, okay? Because I feel that you may have felt your heart space has in some way recently been disconnected or you may have felt you've neglected your own needs and now you're stepping into looking more at uh, how you feel about yourself and if there's anything that you want to enhance or um, sort of change about yourself, I feel like you're doing that. And by changing, I mean like exercise routines or perhaps, uh, you know, eating more healthily, for example. But if you're already really healthy already, you may be looking at other areas of your life in order to have some time for yourself and, you know, kick back and relax a little bit more, have fun with friends. Now, the death card symbols change, okay? So I feel like this is a change in either career, uh, it can also be a change in your creative pursuits, it can also be a change in your emotions, processing things that have been very, very difficult, and you're finally letting go of those things. The death card signals transformation. It is an evolution. You are maturing as you move through the month, not just in terms of age, but in terms of your mindset. Uh, I feel like the things that you wanted, um, you know, many, many years ago, you know, may have changed and now you're starting to sort of shed the things that are no longer working for you and actually embracing the things that are important to you and you're being fearless as well as you move forward. You're liberating yourself um, from even 
I feel like you're liberating yourself as well from other people's expectations. But the most important thing is you're going to let your hair down a little bit more and enjoy yourself a little bit more playfulness. Um, the Justice card is about finding balance, finding what is right, but it's also a decision that needs to be made. So whatever your decision is, I feel like this is about you finding reciprocity in your life, but also it's an indicator that whatever you decide in this moment, your future actions will be changed forever. Also, if you're learning a lesson, I feel like you're just, it's almost like everything's coming full circle and the lesson shows up one more time so you get an opportunity to completely get closure on it. That's what I feel, closure, okay? Uh, the Justice card also in terms of career, some of you are gonna be bossing up, stepping into new leadership roles or setting up your own business. So I do feel like the Justice card connects to like, um, administrative work, perhaps uh, contracts, things like that that need to be signed, paperwork that needs to be looked at, you know, bank statements, all of that. You're going to be really sort of focusing on that. And I know it sounds a little bit humdrum and boring, but that's life, right? We've got to all pay close attention to those things, especially since your sixth house is activated. You're going to be looking at daily routines and duties and responsibilities and things like that. The Emperor card is all about focus. It's about strategy and success. Now, of course, we do have an emperor and an empress here, male or female, again, not a gender specific reading, but you could be meeting a divine counterpart this month uh, if you're looking for one, especially since the full card is a new energy. Uh, or you could be restarting a connection that you um, perhaps um, separated from. This is a month, a prime month for you and that person to reconnect if you want to. Not everybody's going to want to. Now, the Emperor card also is a card of leadership. So whether you're setting up your own business, becoming an entrepreneur, I feel like your business skills and your creativity is like a perfect storm. I feel like it's all going to come together and you're going to power on through and be very, very successful in whatever it is you're, you're focusing on. Also, you may be getting advice when it comes to your career or getting advice when it comes to your creativity. Some of you actually want to travel as well. So I, I get this energy with the world card. Some of you are thinking about maybe emigrating or changing your life so drastically that you're having a major upheaval and you may seek knowledge or um, advice from someone who's already done it or someone in a position who can advise you in a really positive way to help you like navigate minefields like if you're moving to another country you may uh, want to reach out to financial advisors or people regarding tax issues and things like that of moving your business over there or you know getting in starting up a new business or getting work in another country or even it can mean that you're actually just changing career or focusing on enhancing the career that you've got. But the emperor just tells me whatever it is you're focusing on, you're going to be very, very successful at it, okay? And there's going to be a lot more financial reward there as well, because that queen of pentacles is really glowing at me. Your hard work pays off. Your plan is working. Now, this is a little Celtic cross. The chariot card indicates your starting position. You're on the move. You're no longer stagnant. You've got a decision to make. Now, the chariot card is a card of you um, meeting any challenge head on and overcoming it. So if you felt like you've been going through a period of difficulty or uh, I feel you're determined to overcome that and find the direction that leads you to your goal. Uh, the chariot card is actually about success, about victory, about triumph, but it's also about taking the reins, taking the initiative to move forward from a stagnant position. The chariot card is also a directional gauge. So you're in the hot seat. You're the one who is making the changes and you are sort of using your intuition to see where you want to go. But the destination is clear. Success, 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 okay? This is also a card of dedication, drive, commitment. If you've been feeling recently that your energy has been really low vibe, July is actually gonna be a power up month, okay? So you're gonna be feeling like you're like, in doing mode and it's not going to feel like responsibility it's not going to feel like you're in a routine you're just going to be like accomplishing goals and then on to the next and i feel like you're getting really really organized also with the ace of wands this is what's crossing you 
So you may have felt like there was a false start on something or a delay on something or you were delaying something, but this is about taking the initiative now. Your energy returns. So I feel like more positivity, more passion, and you start to have vision of where you want to go. I mean, the Ace of Wands is a transformative card and it normally connects to adventure. So I feel, you know, you are on this, I feel like you're on this sort of track where you you want a little bit more excitement rather than just routine and that's going to kick back against your sixth house so just so you're aware now this is a card of you being daring doing something differently when you've got the full card and the ace of wands that is a powerful mix of being creative being creative uh taking the initiative being bold allowing yourself to dream big and whatever inspires you you're turning it into reality your focus is becoming uh reality that's what i feel you're it's almost like your thoughts are becoming things so you may have new ideas um, a lot of inspiration have an urge to create or be more creative than usual whatever it is i feel like you're powering up now there may have been some sort of rejection or false start in the past but i feel like you're moving past it you're not letting some sort of disappointment get you down you're not letting anything get in your way any obstacle i feel like you're moving through okay now what is below you we've got a bit of nine of swords so some of you may uh, have been experiencing a little bit of um sleepless nights or um not feeling like you're getting proper rest. Some of you may have been feeling a little bit of anxiety as well. So I'm just gonna pull a card on the Nine of Swords. If you've been feeling a bit of anxiety because you're implementing such a big change, but this could also be, um, and I'm gonna read love right at the end, just so you're aware, because the full card could be like, you're very curious about somebody and there's a relationship here with the divine counterparts. So, but it can mean that this person gives you butterflies in your stomach um, and maybe not in the right way. Because the Nine of Swords is a card of um, sort of like despair or worry, concern. So I'm just going to pull a card on this for you. Thanks so much, Spirit Guides, Grand Angels. Ace of Swords. Okay, something doesn't sit right. Ace of Swords is either like poor judgment or you may feel like someone's not being honest with you. Um, this could be a mental block as well. So for example, if you are, you know... Um, Focusing on your career at this time, you may feel like ideas are not really coming towards you. You may feel like you've had a creative block and you may be worrying that you haven't got that special talent anymore. Or you may feel like, um, you know, like imposter syndrome sometimes. But that's not true at all. It's because you haven't got enough rest, you haven't got enough sleep, or you need to take a step back and rejuvenate your energy. Also, if you feel like someone is not telling you the whole truth and everything but the truth, I feel like it comes to light. You've got the card of the justice. So that means that anything that is untrue comes to light. Five of Cups. Five of Cups is a card of feeling like you've lost out on something. But the Five of Cups sort of reminds you that whatever is lost will be gained. Whatever is lost will be found in a new way. Four of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. Okay, so there may have been either some sort of rejection or an opportunity that did not go in your favor, and you may have felt very, very stuck. This is what's below you, okay? Uh, you may have felt also that you, you're fresh out of ideas, or you just, you feel like you're not quite achieving what you set out to do, okay? It could also be that ideas are just not coming towards you, or you felt very confused that there was an opportunity or, um, Something that you felt was meant for you, this is a card of it was no longer working for you. So it has been taken away from you, okay? Whatever is sort of released in our lives, it means it's no longer working. It no longer serves a purpose on the path that we're on. So we have to learn how to surrender and let things go in order to be fearless and move forward with liberation. This is a card to remind you that there are two cups. There tends to be two cups that are offered that we're not even aware of yet. So if you feel like you've lost something, I feel like something better is on its way to replace whatever you felt like you lost out on, okay? Um, we have that Six of Swords there, so you've been feeling pretty stuck or unmotivated recently. I mean, some of you may have tried to... Um, book travel plans and it's been delayed and it's made you feel a little bit in a funk. With that four of pentacles, you may even feel like uh, financially you've missed out in some way, or you may feel um, that you feel a little bit vulnerable. 
um, to travel delays because of the time period that you're actually, I mean, around the world right now, of course, there's lots of travel problems. So you may be worrying about that, but I feel like you, the chariot card indicates you are on the move and the judgment in the nine of cups definitely means you get what you're wishing for or you get what you're hoping for in the month. Okay. What are you leaving behind? Two of swords. Indecision, stalemate energy. If there was something that you felt stuck in a rut with, whether it's uh, you're, uh, you know, you felt very, very stressed recently. Uh, again, I'm sending you a huge amount of hugs out there and love. The Two of Swords is a card of just being stagnant and searching for answers. Sometimes we got to take some time out to consider options. It is a card of weighing up options and trying to find the best way. So you're leaving that behind because you've now had a breakthrough. The Chariot card is movement forward. You've decided what sort of direction you want to head in. And in July, I feel like it's a very, very positive time for you. You got an Ace of Wands and you got an Ace of Pentacles. So this means more passion, more money. This could also be if you're looking for a job, there is an opportunity that heads your way that brings more finances. It could also be a promotion. If you enjoy where you're at, there may be a promotion on um, opening up there for you that brings more money or new income heads your way in some way. Uh, I feel like this is about you investing in your passions and being rewarded in some way. But also it can mean you are trying to weigh up options or find ideas of how to make money, doing something that you're passionate about, finding new original ideas in order to find success. Some of you may be implementing two streams of income or you have two streams of income and you're finding ideas in order to um, safeguard your future financially. Because we've got two aces here, these are gifts from the universe. So I feel like opportunities are coming towards you. It's the start of something new and it's something that you're passionate about, something that's going to um, make you feel alive in your soul and jump out of bed in the morning. Uh, now, for those of you who are tired, it can also mean that you're using your money in a way to um, travel or do things that are exciting, that really spark your brain synapses, that make you excited about life. Uh, you're achieving all the things on your bucket list and things like that. So. Now, the Ace of Pentacles is also a card that your prosperity is sort of, you're aligning yourself with prosperity. And I feel like this is you recognizing abundance in your world. There is going to be a little bit more money in this month. Maybe uh, you're going to be able to sort of uh, save it for a big purchase, but I feel like your money is increasing. We're going from the Ace of Pentacles to the Queen of Pentacles. So financial um, gain is happening in July. Also, I feel like you're aligning yourself with success with this card. You're making an impact in whatever arena you're trying to work in, okay? I feel like you will be noticed for your talents. You're also building financial foundations that will take root and lead you to be able to weather any storm should one come along, okay? Um, the Emperor energy tends to be a protective energy as well. So some of you may be like shuffling finances around and making sure they're in institutions that you trust in order to uh, protect what you've already worked for. But I feel like this is more about you working really hard, proceeding with integrity, persevering towards your goals and, you know, sort of dedicating yourself towards success. Your efforts will pay off. Now, in the near future, Six of Pentacles. So again, uh, I'm only focusing on Pentacles and, you know, sort of uh, career finances because you've got so many pentacles in your reading. So I feel this is about passion, drive, tenacity, and success. The Six of Pentacles is a gift from the universe. I can't, it's like an unexpected resource. So for example, if you're trying to um, wonder how can you use your talents to make more money, for example, you will tap into something that you're really good at and that you actually enjoy and it will be financially viable in the future. Some of you will be setting up your own business or you're stepping into a leadership role, but the Emperor Energy sees you try to mix your uh, creativity with your responsibilities. Uh, with the Empress energy is like, how do I have more fun, more time for me? How do I, you know, um, sort of like nourish myself in a really healthy way? And how do I also like focus on my responsibilities and find that happy medium, that happy balance? But the Six of Pentacles does mean that there's a surprise coming from the universe. It's like the universe is exhibiting generosity 
It's like good karma headed your way because you've been working really hard, you've been focusing, and you've been stuck for a while. Or you're taking, you've decided to take a leap of faith and they're rewarding you for it. Now, in your advice to yourself in this moment, the death card symbols something needs to change. So with this card, this is evolution. There's transformation here. And the death card always means there is like a change. There is a new beginning. You are transitioning to something new. So this is a very important month for most Aquarians. Now, either you're stepping into a an energy of looking at yourself in a different way, where you feel a little bit more confident, a little bit more energized, or a little bit more ready to take on the world, or whether you are implementing changes in your career for a new job, an opportunity. There's definitely one headed your way. If you've gone for interviews, for example, you put your resume out there, I see two opportunities headed your way. They're very financially lucrative. One of them you're going to be more passionate about than the other, um, and you will choose that one. That's what I feel. Um, and others may be deciding it's, it's time for a change when it comes to love. If you're in a single energy and you're looking for love, I feel like you find the energy to take the initiative to put yourself in scenarios where you meet new love. Uh, and for those of you who are already in a relationship, you and your partner may decide to go traveling or even be thinking about um, emigrating or like maybe even relocating somewhere, buying a home together, even going on a road trip together. I just feel like there's a lot of movement with that world card and that chariot. It's really sort of like, it's almost like a, I've got three cards really illuminated in a triangle. We got the fool, we got the world, and we got the chariot. It's like forming a, an, an iridescent triangle. That's what I keep getting. So I feel like there's a really powerful, positive change month for you. Now, that's your advice to yourself in the moment. Something needs to change. So you are implementing those changes. What is the external environment? Five of Swords. Now, Five of Swords is mental conflict, overthinking. It can also be about self-sabotage. When we get a little bit worried about something, we start to rethink it and then overthink it and then overthink it a little bit more. So I'm just going to pull a card on this and see what this is all for you. Uh, it can mean that, you know, you've been working really hard and you feel like you're not as far on your journey right now as you would hope to be. And you're starting to um, be, you know, show less compassion for yourself and be like, I should have done this, or uh, I wish I was further ahead. I work really hard and I'm not where I feel I should be right now. So you may feel really disappointed or feel like you're overthinking things and starting to, sm to sweat the small stuff. But your guides want you to be aware you're on the right track. You're headed in the right direction. You're on your soul path. You've got the judgment card there and you've also got the nine of cups. So this is about you aligning yourself with your true purpose, but also your true prosperity, okay? Um, we got the seven of wands. Don't give up. Don't give up on your dreams, your vision. Hold true to that. This is a card of you being at your personal best, persevering, not conforming, being unstoppable. When you walk a path that nobody else is walking, sometimes it's very difficult. Sometimes it's very lonely as well. Spirit's got your back. You're not walking alone. But they just want you to be aware that sometimes it feels like you're pushing against the wind and you may feel like you're like taking two steps forward and four steps back. But Spirit want you to be aware you are on the right path. The Seven of Wands is a card of not compromising your morals, but also not sort of like adhering to anybody's expectations but your own. This is a card of engaging in sustained effort. If you've got a hunch or a gut feeling that you should do something, listen to your intuition. It will not lead you astray. This is a card of trusting that you can make hap things happen by living life on your own terms, whatever that is. The Seven of Wands is holding true to a vision, having self-confidence and belief in oneself and knowing that no matter what, you will get to where you want to go. And I'm just going to pull another card there as well for you. How would you like to receive? Thank you so much. The world card. You will reach your goal. You will get success. You will, if you're wanting to move, whatever the dream is, you will accomplish it. This is a card of success. Your commitment will get you to where you want to go. Okay. So this is you also entering a new cycle. Everything about your chart for July is new, new, new. Uh, now, we also have the Queen of Pentacles as a hope and fear. Queen of Pentacles is, I hope my hard work pays off. I hope that I will be financially secure. I hope all my commitment will help me reach my goal. And it will. The Queen of Pentacles is a card of attracting abundance, conserving, 
your energy for the right people, situations. It's about building a life of comfort and wealth. Uh, it can also be that you are thinking about working from home in some way or trying to find a job that means you can work from home. So some of you may work in uh, other places right now, but you're trying to find duality. You maybe find second stream of income, something that you're really creative and good at doing from the home space and making more money out of it. Also, this is a card of protection. It's a card of protecting what you've already earned. So I feel this is a card of you sort of like putting yourself in a really good position financially, even though you may have felt a bit of a struggle recently. You may have felt you were very, very challenged. The Queen of Pentacles also is a card of... Um, the home space. So some of you may be rearranging furniture. Uh, they're actually showing me a little black cat, a little black cat right now. But I, I feel like it's not a real cat. It's like a, a little trinket, black cat. I mean, it could be a symbol, black cat, uh, a logo of a company. Uh, it's it's well, it indicates luck. Okay, you're going to get a. a a good turn of luck in the month of July, especially since Jupiter um, is sort of shining its benevolent energy on us all before it retrogrades at the end of the month. So I feel like you're attracting the abundance that you're working really hard for. Um, stay committed to your goals and dreams. Your focus will bring you to where you want to go. Okay, now the fear here is, will there be opportunities? Am I working all this hard energy and work for nothing? Will my goals be reached? Will I be stable financially? So I feel this is a card of worrying that you don't want to be financially dependent on anyone. You want to be self-sufficient. Uh, you're not the sort of person to be greedy, my beautiful Aquarian. So I feel like this is about you trying to build a financial, um, financial foundation. Also, I would say um, when you're having this amount of success or glow up, be mindful, there's always gonna be somebody who is envious. So just be a little bit mindful of that. I'm gonna pull a card on that Queen of Pentacles for you. Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Aquarians? What do they need to know regarding Eight of Swords in the reverse? Yeah, release anyone that you feel does not have your back. Um, now, as I'm shuffling these cards, I'm seeing someone eating. Um, what you call those um i'm not here to sort of like brand name anything really but i i have to describe what i'm seeing otherwise you won't know um i'm not here to advertise anything um okay so it's like candy like m ms right it's it's that so either that's you eating those uh, they're very very colorful i mean they could be skittles but they look more like M&Ms. They're very colorful, like rainbow colors, candy. That's what I'm seeing right now. So if you're eating that as you're listening to this reading, uh, there's something in this message for you. I mean, rainbow colors tend to be about luck and uh, good feelings and positive energy, of course. So, but I feel like it's more like candy. So if that's you, there's something in this message for you. Um, if it's not you, it doesn't mean it's not your reading. It just means that person needs to pay close attention to the reading as their attention may have wavered. Although I'm not surprised because they're focusing on candy. And that's, I mean, my, my focus would be on the candy too. Um, so the Eight of Swords in the reverse is like liberation. And we got Three of Pentacles here. Three of Pentacles is building a solid foundation, but can also be like, if this person is jealous or envious of you, they're not someone who's a team player and you would know that, okay? You wouldn't collaborate with, just let them go. I mean, you could be your own boss and find out that actually there's someone who's not been acting in high regard or pulling their weight. And you may feel like if you've given them ample opportunity to raise their game, you may have to cut them loose, okay? Um, even though you may not want to. Uh, Three of Pentacles, I do feel like you have resources around you. You don't need to do all of this hard work by yourself. I feel, especially if you're working in the home space as well, I feel like you you do have people around you who um, would want to help you with the uh, heavy lifting, shall I put it that way? Because uh, I'm actually seeing someone right now lifting furniture. So perhaps you're shuffling furniture around or doing DIY, or maybe you've put a post out there for someone to help you um, shift furniture around or something like that. So please take that as it resonates. Um, the outcome energy is interesting. We've got a five of wands. Whatever it is you're fighting for, you're in training, you're on the right track. 
The Five of Wands is also about creative brainstorming, having wonderful ideas, you know, left field ideas. So you may have gone from like no ideas or feeling a little bit blocked in your energy. And then suddenly everything you're firing on all cylinders. This is a card also of stimulating your brain, stimulating your mind, fighting for whatever it is you want to achieve. But the thing is, it's, I don't feel like you're having to fight as in it's difficult towards the end of the month. I feel it's more like you've been going through some challenges and now you're passing the test. Okay, I feel like you've gone through some sort of initiation or something like that. This is also a card of um, trying to find the right path towards success because the Five of Wands obviously comes before the Six of Wands and Six of Wands is all about success. So I feel like you are on your way to accomplishment with this card, but I feel like you're going to have a lot of like brainstorming, a lot of passionate ideas, um, a lot of intriguing ideas as well. And I feel like there's freedom to explore outside your norm is what I'm getting. Uh, we've got the Nine of Cups wish fulfillment, everything you've been working towards. I feel like you will know that you're on the right track. Also, I feel like you can be proud of yourself for the efforts that you've been putting in. You know, sometimes we forget how far we've come, the things that we're dealing with. We're all, you know, even though we're in these grown bodies, we're all these little children with like, you know, dreams and wishes and we're just trying to do life we're trying to pay bills we're trying to you know deal with an environment that is a little bit difficult right now for everybody of course and we've all gone through a major trauma over the last the last couple of uh, years of course uh, so i feel like you know you're doing a good job my beautiful query and so please acknowledge that this is also a card of leaving the month satisfied that you did a job well done. This is a card of fulfillment. It's also a card of the good life and success. So I feel like as you close out July, you're going to be enjoying yourself a little bit more and feeling like, I do feel like there is, well, I feel two opportunities are headed your way, but there's one really big gift from the universe that you're going to be very, very grateful for, okay? And it may be when you just see that little black cat. I feel like that's a symbol of good luck. Something that you've been wishing for for a long time is showing up for you, okay? They just want you to be aware of that. Also, I feel like you've got really great, flexible, regenerative skills. So even when there are major changes, I feel like you're really good at adjusting, making adjustments and allowances for these changes and finding balance within uh, the whole thing. I feel like you're not being knocked off balance. I feel like you're grounded, very grounded in the month of July. Now we've got the judgment card, which is a card of, of course, choice, but it's also rebirth, renewing your energy, self-evaluation period where you're wondering which direction to take. So I feel like this is a month of you taking the bull by the horns and heading in the direction where your heart is bringing you towards. This is a card also of um, your true calling, so you may have been called to whatever this dream or goal is or been called to this move. And I feel like your heart is guiding the way. This is a card of you actually finding your true prosperity and being on the right path. Now, they're actually showing me a peacock. A peacock, uh, the actual bird, not just the feathers. Uh, they're showing me the whole peacock. So maybe this is about you showing off your skills or maybe you're changing your um, career path in a major way where you actually implement your true talent and skills in some way. I mean, some of you could be on a more spiritual path towards whatever it is you want to do in life and actually you are finding a way to be able to monetize it. Some of you are setting up YouTube channels or using the internet in some way to enhance second stream of income. The judgment card is a card of you having that divine blueprint and honoring the calling. That's what I'm getting here. Um, also, it's a regenerative energy. So all of a sudden you're going to get that boost of energy, a bit more passion, uh, a little bit more joy to vive motivation. So I feel like this is about you activating a, a radical change in your life in in july this may be a catalyst month for change that sees you moving forward in a direction that you've always wanted to go and the universe shows up and paves the way 
I actually feel like the whole way will be paved with gold once you're on that path. Okay, um, especially financial reward. So I'm going to pull some cards just to see if I can get anything more on that outcome energy. Anything more a beautiful queries need to be aware of. Four of Swords, get some rest. It's going to be a busy month. Four of Swords is also connect to meditation. Recoup your energy. Make some time for you. Your mind will be sharper and you will have greater clarity as to where you want to go. Also, this is a time for taking a break in order to take care of yourself. This is a self-care card. So I would say make sure you know you, you get some rest because July, especially towards the end, is going to be very, very productive in a really positive way. Uh, I'm just going to get a final card before we close. Thank you so much, Spirit Guys, Great Angels. Can you please guide? You know, I'm almost seeing like a bison or a buffalo. So this is about being strong. I think it's a I can't quite tell in the water because it's a little bit like cloudy, whether it's bison or buffalo. But I feel like, you know, bison and buffalo, they kind of like huddle together, don't they? And they sort of like are very strong and stable in storms. Uh, they're also very, very protective, I guess, like a bit like the white stag. Um, maybe buffalo is important in some way for you, um, or it could be bison. I can't really tell. The way that the, the animal that they're showing me is, I've almost got it on like a side. So I can't quite see the, the front part of the animal. So I'm just guessing from the side. I wish you could see what I could see because I wish I could actually turn it around and, and make it look at me. But that's what I'm scrying in the water. I can see only the side of the, the animal. So either a bison or a buffalo. I mean, I, I'm going to have to leave that there because it really is a bit of a tenuous sort of image for anyone to link to. So we got white stag protector and it says you are an old soul your best friend is nature use your intuition to take you to where you want to go awaken to the powerful force within you you are meant to create blessings with your magic okay so whatever it is you feel like you've been working towards you are protecting your position and you're also forging a new way now this could be a new way of doing something it doesn't have to be a change in a career it could be a, a new way of thinking you're finding more positivity. You're having an, a, point of a, a point of an epiphany where you start to have more confidence in yourself. And suddenly you know which direction you want to go in. Because I feel like suddenly you know the direction of your dreams. And I feel like suddenly the universe shows up with indications that you're on the right path for those dreams. Okay. Uh, I'm just going to get a rune before we close. Thank you so much. Okay. So... We have potential. This is the hero ruin. You are literally being the hero in your own story, taking the initiative, taking the bull by the horns, as I was saying. This is a card of freedom. Uh, sorry, a ruin of freedom also. It can also mean you're reaching a conclusion or you're at the precipice of something big in your career or your love life. Uh, I will pull a card on love life because uh, I said right at the end I would do that for those who are wanting to know about love. But I feel this is about you reaching your full potential, making a mark. Okay. Um, they actually want me to put this on the Nine of Cups. Now, for those of you who are looking for love, because we have the Emperor and the Empress there, this can be uh, two divine counterparts meeting. So let me just clarify that. Can you clarify love for my beautiful Aquarians? Anything to do with that? We got the Temperance card, Patience, Balance. Eight of Swords. We got three of Pentacles in the reverse. So it's basically they're indicating if you don't put situ if you don't put yourself in a situation to meet people or meet a person, then of course um, you're going to be a little bit more stuck than usual, and you're going to have to activate patience because that's a card of patience there, the Temperance card. Eight of Swords is like feeling a little bit stuck or release yourself from denial see things as they truly are please don't shoot the messenger when i say this but the three of pentacles in the reverse indicates if you're not getting into circumstances where there's other people if you've been a bit of a homebody recently then it may be a little bit difficult to meet somebody new of course if you're on the internet then you may meet somebody but we've got seven of swords in the reverse knave of wands in the reverse and we got the ten of swords in the reverse this also tells me that there's someone here that you may have separated from that is coming back for a new start this person wants to make amends we got seven of swords in the reverse okay they may try to mend a relationship with you we got the knight of wands in the reverse 
this person doesn't want to run anymore they don't want to um they don't want just friends with benefits or anything like that they actually want a solid relationship they want to set roots they want to settle down and we've also got the ten of swords this person wants a new start so um they're picking up on a relationship someone who is separated coming back together i mean the judgment card can be a card of second chances so let me go one more with that in mind can you show me the judgment with these cards whoa Uh, we got three of pentacles oh no that was out already we've got the knight of chalice this person denied their feelings this is a person who denied their feelings and their friends i feel like their friends have helped them see that they have feelings for you okay knight of chalices this is someone that um had unrealistic expectations in a connection and they were, they were afraid of their emotions, this person, but I feel like this person's coming back on in to express themselves. And the Three of Cups is about sharing. So I feel like they're going to share their emotions, and I feel like this person, um, their friends have helped them open themselves up a little bit more. Uh, three of Cups is also a card of celebration. So let me see how you feel about this person. Because not everybody's going to want to get back with an ex, okay, or someone they've separated from. Uh, the Hangman in the Reverse... I feel, I feel like you make this person wait. Um, I feel like this person was a little bit more focused on themselves. And now you are deciding you're going to focus on yourself. You may have thought that this was over. It was a, you missed, you may have felt like they've missed an opportunity to be with you. King of Chalices, Three of Swords. You love them, but it hurts. You love them, but it hurt you. Okay. It's really difficult. I mean, they have your heart or they had your heart, but they... There's a lot of stuff that needs being there's a lot of stuff that needs to be sorted out in this. Okay, I feel like there's a lot of baggage. Uh, either this person broke your heart. It's very very difficult um, to overcome that. But I feel like there is still love there. I feel like you do love them. You got a King of Cups there, so I feel like you love this person, but they hurt you. So it's going to take a while for you and this person to really work it out. For those of you who want new, can you please show me new? Although I will be doing a singles love reading on its own. Uh, Four of Pentacles, you're thinking about your security. Oh, you will be talking to somebody new. We've got Four of Pentacles there. So you're thinking about your financial security. Um, and we've also got the Five of Cups there in the reverse. So that tells me that, uh, you know, if you felt like you lost out on love, you may have lost hope on it as well, but your hope returns. Um, I feel like you start getting in the mood. Oh, wow. <laughs> they give me a song. I'm in the mood for dancing, romancing. I mean, that's a very famous song, okay? So um, either you just heard that song before you listen to this reading or you're gonna hear it after this song, sorry, this reading in the next four to five weeks. Symbolizes you'll be talking to someone new. We've got an Ace of Swords here. So definitely you'll be uh, having some conversations, discussing things, sharing ideas with someone new. And I feel like this is the start of something that actually could be a little bit long term. OK, so I'm going to leave it there. I hope something resonates in that reading for you. It's a little bit complex, a little bit bumpy today. Um, so I do apologize for that. Uh, but if something did resonate here for you, please like and subscribe to my channel completely free for you. All you have to do is uh, press a little bell. Um, it lets you know that I've uploaded a reading and it lets me know that you resonated, which is very important for me. Thank you so much, my beautiful Aquarians. Love and light.